Hello, it's John Burford here, and I'm covering in this video the Dow Jones and also the NASDAQ. They seem to be going their separate ways. The NASDAQ is being kept aloft by the, uh, the outstanding results in the uh, FANG gang, uh, uh, the latest ones being Microsoft and Meta, reported last night. Um, uh, but the Dow is uh, have, has its feet in the on the ground much more so than the Nasdaq, and it is looking a little bit wobbly here. I'm going to just tell you about the um, the progress it has made off the March lows. This is the decline up to my major trend line here. It tried to burst through it. It actually kissed it on three separate occasions, and has been uh, moving up in what I say is an A, B, C, three wave, uh, corrective wave. Now the A start is here, here's the one, two, three for the B, and the uh, C wave is a very extended one. One, two, three, four, and an extended fifth wave of an extended C wave. <laughs> Okay, it made a high here on April 12th, 34,140. I would say at the moment that is the high and we are headed lower, but I have several caveats here. This is my upper tram line, which connects that point, that point, that point, that point, and my prior pivot point here. My parallel line starts from here. It passes through that touch point and this is the latest action, which is indecisive around that tram line, but it's moved sharply lower yesterday. And it moved lower to this line here, which is the prior wave four low. Now that is a very significant low. As, as of now, we've only got an A, B, C looking correction. If the market can rally quite strongly off here, then we should see new highs. If it falters and moves down into here, then we are on our way to a major, major collapse. Now, one of the reasons why I think a bounce is in the order is the RSI. This is the RSI chart. It reached this uh, oversold low here. So that's another clue. We could see a fairly decent bounce in the next day or two. Remember the Fed, um, FOMC, uh, meet next Wednesday, and um, I do not anticipate huge moves up until around that date. But let's take a look at the Nasdaq. Here we are. We um, we had a high here uh, on the fourth of April, slightly before the Dow high. This is my C wave, the wave five of C probably terminated here. This is my line in the sand, which I showed in the last video. And since then, it's been in a very tight trading range. It's been supported by the great results, as I say, of the big tech names. Uh, this is one of my other major support lines here, which is a critical line for me. It broke through it uh, just, the other, just yesterday, but it's managed to push up and is testing my lower tram line. This is my upper tram line, my lower tram line. If you recall from the previous slide, the Dow is trading well, well below the lower tram line, but this one isn't. We have an ABC. This is a moment of truth again here. Uh, and if we see a move lower, I think it's going to be quite a substantial move. I hope you like this video and I invite you to sign up to receive my weekly blogs and also to check out my three trading services, all with free trials available. For VIP Traders Club members, I issue specific trades with price targets and coverage of stock indexes, forex, t-bonds and commodities. The new Phoenix Traders Club trades is aimed at smaller accounts. Again, I issue specific trades. And my Pro Shares service covers individual UK and US shares. Remember, I offer free trials to all three services. Just go to www.tramlinetraders.com.